What is going on? I'm Joey with DK Oldies. Today is the 23rd of October. Thank you for tuning in to the retro live stream. There's my co-host Hunter. Hi everyone. We're opening up a new game collection and every single day, dozens of collections just like this one get dropped off into the shop. We take a look at a few and see what are inside. I'm excited to see what's inside today's collection. As always, what we show off goes up to our website, dkoldies.com. I know, let's dive into it today. See what we got. I can kind of just make out the word Pokemon coming right through here. What is this? What is that? Some sort of aftermarket case for Pokemon Red. What's going on, Jimmy? Thanks for tuning in today. Huh. Yeah, sure enough. And it looks like... A well-loved copy of like, Game Boy. Let's put that out of there. Game Boy version, okay. Pokemon Red. Wow, definitely seen some love with that one. What's going on, Doug? Good to see you. Hi, Ronnie. Michael from Baltimore. What's going on? That's funny to put it in like a like a DS case that seems specifically made for older Game Boy cartridges. It is about that size, Hunter. I agree. Pat Got some more Pokemon. Name. This is the DS version, Pokemon Heart Gold. What's going on, Graham? Good to see you. What's up, Ronnie? <laughs> a few more of those Game Boy cases. We got Donkey Kong Land 2. The original Donkey Kong Land. A special Pikachu edition of Pokemon Yellow. Good you know, like fun. we always say, Joey, people always throw away their boxes. I guess this person went back and they realized, hey, I don't have these boxes anymore, but that's not going to stop me from making complete copies. Continuing on down here, let's see, we've got Pokemon Crystal. I've got a gl glance in here, see if we've got it. Sure enough, there it is. Thanks for sharing it, Dallas. Appreciate it. What's going on, Demetrix? Doing great today. How about yourself? Mario Super Circuit. Let's see how they're fitting a Geek GBA cartridge in there. Yeah. Sure enough, Super Circuit. Love that version of Mario Kart. I think that was my first uh, exposure to Mario Kart, to be honest. With a GBA game? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. And Leaf Green. Eddie, what's going on from Texas, huh? What's going on, Ryan? Legacy of Goku. Checker from the West USA. Bonjour to you as well. What's going on, Gonzalo? Dr. Mario. I can still hear the soundtrack of this one playing in my head. <laughs> Spent a ton of time a with a good old doctor. Oh, I like this one. Yep, <laughs> I definitely have good memories when I hear that soundtrack. Cure colds in this classic NES puzzle game for the GBA. Oh, Summer, yeah, you got to try out Super Circuit. And Double Dash is great. That, uh, that little spin they tried on it where you've got two racers on each cart. Really neat twist. Added some cool stuff there. Kingdom Hearts game. Dragon Ball Z Taiketsu. What's up, Nikki? Kim Possible. Draken's Demise. Did you ever watch Kim Possible, Hunter? Uh, yeah, I watched a little bit. I liked the... She had, like, the ferret or, like, the naked mole rat or whatever it oh, was. Oh, yeah, Sidekick. you're right. I forget what it was called. It had, like, a person name, I think. I think it was a naked mole rat. <laughs> Yito, what's going on? Puerto Rico, I huh? I this on, like, some pretty nice paper, like, canon. I like, see that. What do you call that? Pokemon Blue. Yeah, he's got a bunch of the original Pokemons in here. Good one. What's going on, Daniel? Um, Link's Awakening. Includes a new secret dungeon, eh? Accessible on Game Boy Color only. Donkey Kong Land 3. I think we saw 1 and 2 in here also. Do we ship GameCubes to Canada? We sure do, Travis. We ship worldwide. And the third Dragon Warrior. The new Roman numerals are what got me, Hunter. That order I shipped out over the weekend, I thought it was Black Ops. Oh, was, right. There was four slashes, and I called it three. And I should have been the one to be like, Joey. Yeah. Because I'm the expert uh, on yeah, those I Roman know. numerals. <laughs> <laughs> it was the right item for the customer. I just misread it. it happens to the best of us. True, true. Dragon Warrior 1 and 2. So does that mean there's like two games on here? Dragon Warrior it's 1 gotta be. and 2? not a custom label. I was wondering if they um, condensed it into like one. They smushed one and two and called it one one game. I don't know. Yo, what's going on, Sans? Blades of Steel. Remember this back when it was uh, an NES game. 
Final Fantasy Legends as well. Check this out. Pac-Man Collection Game Boy Advance Box. Um, unlike these, um, you know, printed out labels and cases, aftermarket cases they're using, this is an original one, Hunter. Could you peek at it? They seem to have kept the Pac-Man collection. Pack Attack, Pac-Man. So you can see there, as a nifty little spot for the game to slide in there. Cool. And then also have some print media here. This looks like for different games. There's Pack Attack, Pac-Man. All the stuff that comes in there. I don't know if they Game all Boy came and with Game it, Boy SP. These are the instruction manuals for the consoles and oh, the yeah. handhelds themselves. Good find. Complete version of the Pac Man collection, GBA version. Man, that must have been cool to get your parents to actually agree to sign you up for that. For Nintendo Power? Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like, stuff like that. Big time. I had the Lego magazines when I was younger. Oh, uh, what's going on, Super Sonic? Have I heard about Spider Man 2 for the PS5? I sure have. That first Spider-Man was amazing. I've heard really good stuff about this second one, too. Go wild and help rescue the Rugrats. Rugrats? <laughs> Rats of the rug, sir. I think I'll be placing it in order. I recently moved house, and this would be awesome housewarming present to myself. Yo, that's exciting, Nikki. Good idea. Dragon Ball Z Extreme? Butoden? What? They always go crazy with the names for these. That's true, you're <laughs> right. Fusion. Oh yeah, fusions. This is neat. What are these? 3DS versions? Huh. And Smash Bros. 3DS version. Fight anytime, anywhere. we have here? Ocarina of Time 3D for the 3DS. Go from England. What's going on, Andrew? Thanks for sharing, Eric. Zelda Triforce Heroes. Oh, that looks fun. I'll bet I'd love that one. Wear, and, wear different outfits to gain different abilities. Yeah, that's cool. From St. Louis. What's going on, Nate? Uh, Link Between Worlds, again, 3DS version. And the Ben 10 Omniverse. It was a TV show, Hunter, is that right? Uh, ben 10, yeah, that's correct. That was a TV show coming out when I was growing up. Mm, cool find. Uh, her boyfriend, Ron Stoppable, had the naked mole rat. Is that what that's? Yeah. <laughs> His name yeah. is Ron Stoppable, Brady? <laughs> that's crazy. Um, Hunter, what did you just come across here? So, treasure true. It's a big selection of handheld games here, Joey. You got some Bionicle, you got some Beyblade, you got some Yu-Gi-Oh, some Donkey Kong, of course, some Bugs Life, Scooby-Doo, Rugrats, the whole nine yards. It seems like if they had a show or a movie back then, they made a game out of it. Good they point. And the Hunter, Arnold's check hot. this out. Uh, we were just talking about this. See how this game, the label's almost torn off? Occasionally, we come across games that don't have any label on them at all. And people are always wondering, how, how'd the game, where'd the label go? Um, sometimes it gets sold like that. You can see this one here. This label's hanging on by just a thread left. And uh, wouldn't take much for that of be, to, to have torn off. And then... Um, What's cool is when those mystery games come in, you get to kind of fire them up on the console, find out what it is, ask a few people if they have any guesses. Nobody ever gets it. Not yet. This one caught my eye, though, Hunter. Evil Knievel uh, on some sort of dirt bike. Here Rockstar Games. Game. Oh, crazy. Good find down there. Yeah, Rockstar. GTA. I always thought his name was spelled like Evil, uh -huh, but it's, it's uh -huh. Evil, and I guess that makes sense. I know you don't want to be named I Evil. That's the same thing. Um, can you, do we ship to Mexico? Yes, we do, doggy. Yes, we do. We'll ship worldwide. There's Sonic Advance 2. The tails back there. Wow, Super Mario Advance. You get Mario Bros. 2 and the classic arcade Mario Bros. I played a bunch of this classic arcade Mario Bros. That was a lot of fun. Yo, what's going on, Jamal? From New Jersey, huh? Mario Advance 3, and Lord of the Rings The Third Age. That's wild, they made a Game Boy Advance game of the Lord of the Rings, that's so cool. 
Dragon Ball Z, another one here, and Legacy of Goku 2. Yo, what's going on, Donovan? Thanks for tuning in. Some more 3DS. What do we have? Pokemon Y. Mario and Sonic London 2012 Olympic Games. There they are right there competing in the Olympics. Mario thinks he can beat him in a foot race. I know, right? Pretty funny. Mario Kart 7. Look at Luigi way up there. And I love when Mario puts on a serious face. It's never really serious, though. It's just, like, more focused. Like, there he's still go. smiling. <laughs> Final Fantasy Explorers. Yeah, that sounds neat. And Donkey Kong Country Returns in 3D. Playable in 2D and 3D. Bowser's Inside Story. Nintendo DS version here. An epic gut-busting adventure. Bash, burn, and battle as Bowser. You can switch between Bowser and Mario and Luigi. Resident Evil. Ultra Moon. And what is this? It is indeed 3DS versions. And last but not least, I brought it out here. Oh, yeah, Hunter. Looks like it could be a little handheld in here. Sure enough, it is the Game Boy Pocket version. Slightly harder model to come across. I mean, it's not rare or anything, but like uh, if we were to look on our shelves, we'd have plenty of Game Boy oh, Colors, original Game Boys. But the Pocket? These Just things are pretty neat. As often. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner. Doesn't really have the curved back that the um, Game but Boy Color does. I was about to say, at first glance, you think that's a, po uh, a color. Here. <clears throat> Grab one of these. Put it side by side. Oh yeah, Hunter. So color is a little bit taller, also. I don't. I don't know what it is. I just. I, I like the pockets. Like I guess I'm so used to the colors that when I see this and it's just slightly different design, it's like I know neurons what you mean. activating my brain. I know what you mean. It's a nice size to it. Good looking one right there. So round this off with blue version, Game Boy Pocket. Cool stuff today. All kinds of 3DS. We had some Pokemon games. There was a bunch of 3DS and DS stuff. Big handheld collection here. That's right. Plus all the handheld stuff. All right. We're wrapping up here. As always, the stuff Hunter and I show off is going up to our website at dkoldies.com. Okay.